Hello. How's it going? I've done that thing again. You know where I have those like crazy ideas about certain things? Well, I've had another one. <laughs> so what I've decided was um, not enough people know how to use uh, the toolbars, which are up here on MT4. I was helping a guy out last week on Discord, on a different Discord. I'm on a couple of Discords. And I was helping a guy out last week, and um, I thought, crikey, I've never actually done a video about this. So I thought I'd do a quick video about this, stick it in the old playlist for my tips and tricks. Right, so here's what it is. I'm going to try and keep this short, because I've got another one to do regarding this indicator up here. Uh, that I've created today. Uh, anyway, so back to this. Right, okay, so the problem is is that people who are using TradingView, this guy was using TradingView, could, was drawing all his charts on TradingView, then going back to MT4. So I said, like, crikey, why, why aren't you doing your charting on MT4? And he says he hadn't got all the tools. So I got him through how to get all the tools. So I thought, I'm going to tell every other people about this, and that's why we're here now. Stand by. Yeah. All right, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. Come on, let's get going. All right. So view, first things first, is view toolbars. And, and you can see you've got a choice, really. I have all four of these on. Mine are pre-customized, but I'm going to show you how to customize them. So I just put them all on. You might not want all of these on, but um, these screens are 4 HD screens, so I can do that. And then what it is, if you want to add like these boxes and triangles and fibs and equidistant channels and pitchforks and what have you, all you do is this, you just right click on any of these items here and you just go customize and it appears on the wrong screen. And then once you've got this customize option, it's quite literally a case of you'll insert them into your list. So I'm going to insert that, which is the trend line angle, and I'm going to move it right to the very end. So it should appear. I think it's already there, isn't it? Look. See it moving. And it's down again. So I put it back to the end. And it's that simple, really. That's why I say this video doesn't need to be long. So you've got a whole bunch of tools here that you can decide to use or not use. I mean, that's all I use. And I don't, some of it, oh, I don't think I even use that. I just got to do that manually. So what I'm going to do is remove that. One less thing on my chart. All right, hopefully that helps. Now, you can, if you do the customize, it's this pretty much the same. So you can do periods. That's to customize this menu. So you can, now I can sort of, Click in there. I always have templates on anyway, but now I can switch time frame in there. But I just do it the longer I find it quicker. Do you see what I mean? So you can do this on any of the menus that you customize. And I never put my indicators on like that. I always get them from the navigator. So I remove that. Templates, we like to have those on because I like to switch templates using that option. And then over here, I don't know if we've got anything we can do on there. Yeah, see, we could do full screen symbols. So you can add all that. I never use that there either, so I might as well get rid of that. Uh, what else is there? Print, print preview, if you're doing any printing. Symbols list. Well, that's probably worth having, isn't it? But I use this one. See, that's the thing. So it depends how you want to use it. It just does that, actually. Just puts that list up, which is there. Or, I don't know what that does. It gives you the option to add symbols. Look, see, so you can show and hide them. Like, I don't really look at this silver. I don't look at that one versus euro. I don't look at platinum. Now, palladium should could be quite interesting in the future, given the battery. So I'll keep that handy just so I can see the price of it. And so that's removed now from down here. See, so that's all we've got left. Oil. Oil down there as well. Okay, I think that's about it, isn't it? You've got the idea, haven't you? Just, you know, customise that. So you can pick which time frames you have on there. I just have them all. But I could remove, say, the monthly if I was not interested in it. 
but I can put it back and I can move them up I can do them the other way around up from left to right makes sense to me so I put them like that you could just reorder those to suit you you know what I mean all right okay I don't think we need to do any more than that do we yeah all right hope you've had a good weekend yeah yeah me too yeah <laughs> all right take care play mad boys go Ben take it away Turn this volume down there. I'm still here, actually. I'm a failure. Oh, there you go. He's going to say goodbye for you now. Bye bye.